Hey, folks. So I had a, had a little flash of something earlier today. Um, you know, kind of, I guess it's sort of maybe coming to me because of uh, what I put in my post yesterday about the sort of essence of my business and what I'm, what I'm looking to create. And, um, you know, basically I'm talking about a, a program where people are studying piano and we're, and we're approaching the instrument though as like a life practice kind of thing, a mindfulness practice, a meditative practice, an awareness discipline, an attention distribution discipline, a focus discipline, whatever we want to call it. It's how we use our awareness and cultivating an awareness of that, cultivating an, aware an awareness of how we use our awareness, basically, which is also very much what a meditative practice is about. Um, and, you know, so I was, so I had this thing kind of pop up this morning in a lesson. There's something I've talked about before with students, but it became really clear this morning. It was like, so I had somebody plan a piece, uh, playing Virtual Insanity by Jamiroquai, and there's this like left hand part that just was just a bass line. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Just kind of like walks around the circle of fifths, and then we're jamming with the right hand. And the whole thing about that kind of solo piano jamming when there's no band to keep time for you is your left hand has to be the band, has to give you the groove. And so you're laying down this groove with the left hand, and then we're trying to improvise with the right hand. Well, what we like to do when we're improvising is like really get into our improvisational ideas and let the right hand ideas really sort of like be, be these be really fun be, be you know we get to we like that's the jamming part of the process we get to like really dig in maybe we're playing like flourishy lines or maybe we're playing like some really funky chords um but what i what i pointed out to my student this morning is nothing matters unless the groove is there so that left hand part that da -dum, ch -gum, ch -gum, ch -gum, ch -gum, if that's not happening or if that is in any way interrupted, if, if the time feel is just slightly off, everything else sounds like shit. It doesn't matter, like it does not matter how, how amazing the right hand sounds. If the time starts to go, if the groove is gone, then you're, then, it, then, it, then nothing in the right hand matters. So in other words, there's this kind of distribution of attention that has to happen where the left hand, even though it's playing a very simple part, it's got to play a very simple part, but in a really, really uh, precise way and a really, really consistent way. We got to keep that going. So it's almost like, you know, I, I liken this to, um, you know, like we talked about this. There's a, there's a kind of, I love the, old, the kind of Ken Wilber, the philosopher Ken Wilber talks about the difference between fundamental and significant fundamental and significant and they're basically it's two two ways of being important the t two different ways of being important and there's kind of a spectrum so if you imagine a pyramid the base is very wide the top is very narrow the fundamental stuff goes at the bottom the, the significant stuff goes at the top there's a lot more fundamental stuff than there is significant stuff um, and at any level of the pyramid if anything below that level becomes structurally unsound, then that level collapses. So in other words, trying to like, and, and like the flashy right hand line, like the kind of icing on the cake would be like the flashy right hand line up towards the top of the pyramid. The groove is the base of the pyramid. And if, so like, it's kind of just this analogy where if something is, you, if you put your focus on the significant stuff, but you forget the fundamental stuff, the significant stuff doesn't have anything to rest on. It literally can't, it can't exist. It can't manifest without the foundation. Um, you know, and, and, but, and this becomes really like palpable and tactile and, and you can actually viscerally feel this as you're playing because as soon as that left hand goes, and it's kind of like this thing where like you're, you're using your attention to let the left hand get going, then it kind of goes little by little, go on autopilot. You don't have to think about it the whole time but anytime that you get too over invested over here or you become seduced by the thing that you're creating over here and it lets this fall apart, that's when 
that's when we that's when the discipline becomes okay well that was a little I, I, I leaned over too far I need to come back to the foundation um, you know and we came up with all kinds of different analogies for this it's kind of like this idea of like you know this is something that uh, I think I've heard a lot of speakers talk about recently like you know the what traditionally female roles in the house of maintaining the household doing all of the things that create the house that, that create the um, the functionality of a household well this is work that would if you had to estimate the economic value of it would be worth hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars per year per household because or, or more potentially millions because it's literally holding everybody's life together that stuff goes your life falls apart you know and but it's but these are things that are sort of traditionally not valued that highly or they're they're not valued monetarily and just that creates all kinds of like you know real i think imbalances and really un you picture it ends up affecting our gender relationships in ways that are not positive that are really you know where we really we're not we're not we just we're not valuing the things that we need to be valuing um and we're not valuing the things that are the foundation of all, of everything else in our life so and so it, this is just again i'm just kind of riffing here but this is kind of a way in which we can we can we can take control of this or we can not take control of it so much but like become super aware of it within within the point of view of a very practical discipline and a very kind of like tangible physical emotional you're playing music right and 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 but so much is going on that we can seep our awareness into and glean and practice a discipline of understanding of, of really working with this and really maintaining our focus in the way that it needs to be maintained um so that's kind of where I landed today. It's, you know, fundamental and significant are, are two terms. I've, I, ever since reading Ken Wilber, I've really been, I've really started to see that distinction everywhere. And um, I think it's a really helpful one. And it's coming through in my musical teaching as of today. So, yeah, I hope that's interesting to some folks. And it's this is one among many, many, many ideas that I'm going to be uh kind of codifying and crystallizing and putting into a course here shortly on piano. So, um, love you all. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, have a great day. Again, it means so much to me that all of you who listen to these, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. It's super cool. It's, it means, means more to me than you can know to, to, to see the comments and to see the, the engagement. So thanks so much for being in my life. Love you very much. I'll see you very soon.